I'm going to be rebuilding Arsenal, but everything we do has got to be realistic. Now, we did this with Barcelona a few days ago, and we managed to win the Champions League in the first season itself. But with Arsenal, I doubt that's going to happen. Is she mad? Because for starters, um, we're in the Europa League. And that's because Arsenal last season bottled the Champions League towards the end. They really should have finished fourth. But hey, we're trusting the process. For the first season, we're going to try and recreate the transfers Arsenal are trying to do in real life. You look at this team and you realize you need a new striker because like I said we're gonna try and sell him because he's moving to Lyon in real life. Also Guendouzi he'll be sold as well. The first signing we're gonna make is this man Gabriel Jesus. In real life Arsenal have signed him. The deal is complete it's official and everything. He's already started to play for Arsenal during pre-season and honestly it's actually incredible they've managed to pull off this transfer. Gabriel Jesus probably really believes in Mikel Arteta and we're gonna make it happen as well. Don't like the fact he's a right winger but hopefully we'll be able to convert him to a striker and use him there. It's going to be a bit expensive though. Alright boys, if we can get him for under 50 million, that would be nice because I still have more transfers to do after this. So 42.5 million is what we're running with. They want 65. Yo, how much did Gabriel Jesus cost Arsenal in real life? Alright, so apparently it was 45 million pounds. We're paying way too much, man. Yes, we're going to have to negotiate this down. Let's see what we can do. Let's counter with 54 million and see if that works. And let's go. That's more like it, man. That's more realistic. 54 million for Gabriel Jesus. All right, boys. Crucial squad role for, for Gabriel Jesus. Perfect. We'll give him a five-year deal as well. Contract is reasonable, but that gold bonus, nah. Well, we're not putting that in the deal. We'll give you the 94,000. There you go. Gabriel Jesus signed and delivered. Honestly, with Jesus, I think the important thing is that we can convert him to, of course, a striker. Let's see if that's possible. Eight weeks, that's fine. I think we can wait. All right, let's put him in there. There you go. Perfect. Now we just need to sell the likes of Lacazette, the likes of Gwendozi, and just get a bit of cash. About Thomas Partey, we're not going to be using him in this challenge. He's just a terrible person. If you've read about what he's done, of course, nothing is proven yet, but still, we're just not going to use him. I'm just going to use the cheat engine and get him out of the team. Now, there's another player that's confirmed, and that's Fabio Vieira. So I think we should sign him up as well. So Fabio Vieira actually plays for Porto. He's a cam. We don't really know much about him. So we're just going to scout him for now and then make the move. There's this other kid Arsenal have signed called Marquinhos. Not the one we know, but it's another Brazilian winger. We can't sign him because he's not on FIFA just yet. Okay, we get an offer from Matteo Guendouzi. That's an insane amount. In real life, you know, he, he went for 9 million. That's insane, but the issue with this is I'm not sending him to Spurs. We'll have to wait to get a better offer. We do know more about Fabio Vieira. He'll be a good option on the bench, you know. Okay, we're, we're gonna sign him. We have to sign him. In the first season, we're only signing players that have been confirmed in real life. So, 50 15 million is what we'll pay for Fabio Vieira. 15% sell on glass. That works for me. And there's the deal done. All right, boys. Fabio Vieira has been signed. And those are the only two confirmed signings apart from Marquinhos that have happened this season. We actually didn't really have a backup cam. So for now, putting in maybe Fabio Vieira in here instead of El Nenny works smartly. And Ketia will be on the bench as well. Okay, this one's from Juventus. 44 million. We'll take it. And we get one from Manchester City for Lacazette as well. We'll take Take this one as well. Both players have left Arsenal in real life. And there you go. Both have been sold. Well, for the first season, we can't make any more signings. Because as said, season one, only confirmed transfers can be done. Season two onwards, we'll look more at rumors. So that's the team we've got. I reckon it's good enough to get a Champions League spot, man. Solid bench with Fabio Vieira coming in. Martinelli, Pepe and all. It's just that midfield where I'm feeling we're lacking a fair bit. Especially losing uh, Matteo Guendouzi. So well, let's see what happens in the first season season. We're at the end of the season and we did what Mikel Arteta couldn't do. We get Arsenal to Champions League football next season. Just about besting Spurs in fifth. Let's go. What do we do in the Europa League though? Hopefully we don't have to be in this competition in future seasons. We, we topped our group. Round of 16, we got through Donetsk. Then Villarreal. Unai Emery gets his revenge on us. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. We're out of the Europa League. But hey, we're not, we're not going into that competition ever again. Alright, the growth and some of our players. Look at Erdegaard and Gabriel Jesus. Look at our defense. That's insane. Yo. Who were the stars of this season? Bukayo Saka with 19. Look at that front four contributing with goals. Saka's stats look on 
unbelievable. Look at Gabriel Jesus as well. For season two, we can now sign players for this Arsenal team that are heavily linked with them. We really need to find a way to improve that midfield. As good as Xhaka and Sambi Lokonga are, I think we could do with a bit better. Lucas Parqueta is linked with Arsenal. About a 51 million move, apparently. This could be a crazy good transfer for us. I think we got to make it happen. The rumors are there. And knowing Mikel Arteta is pull, he's already signed Gabriel Jesus. I don't think why Lucas Paqueta would not be possible, especially maybe if Lacazette puts a good word in. All right, let's see the money. We've got about 90 million this season. Okay, now well, let's go ahead and sign Paqueta. It's going to be expensive though. Lucas Paqueta is going to be really expensive. Or maybe not. He's only 83 rated. That's a surprise. And we should be able to convert him to like a center midfielder. So that should help us out a bit, but he might gain most of our budget, but that's fine. He's the kind of quality signing we would need. About 45 million is, would be just insane if we can get this done with. Nope. 68.1, but a bit of negotiation. I don't think would hurt anyone. Let's do the same offer we did for Gabriel Jesus. 54 million, and it works again. The same fee we paid for Gabriel Jesus is working out for Parqueta. All right, boys, we are confirming the transfer of Parqueta. Accept offer. It's done. This is where I kind of want to be playing Parqueta, guys. So Fabio Vieira will be sacrificed, and let's put Parqueta into the team where he is. There he is. Perfect. We need to convert him to a central midfielder, though. It'll take him only about a couple of weeks. This is perfect. Okay, I feel like this is more of a reach. I don't see this deal happening, boys. But to be honest, going from Lazio to Arsenal, I think, is an upgrade. Sergei Milinkovic Savage apparently is linked with Arsenal. AFTV Media saying about 70 million is the fee this cost. I don't know if we'll have the money to pull this off right now, but he would fix our midfield problems, you know, putting him instead of Granit Xhaka. I think we're sorted then. But we have only about 36 million. I don't see how we're going to sign Mili Savage unless we use someone in like a swap deal or something. Okay, through player sales and everything, we've managed to generate about 75 million or so. Would that be enough to sign Mili Savage? Let's see. Honestly, a signing like Milinkovic Savage, I think would be unreal for Arsenal in real life. Gives you that experience. He's 85 rated. He's currently playing for Barcelona. I think this is going to be tough to pull off since he's at Barcelona in this save. But in real life, remember, he's moving from, of course, um, Lazio. So let's try 53 million is my first offer. They want 84. That's just out of our budget. Oh, okay. We'll counter this with, say, 64. Going up a little bit on our previous offer. They still want 84, man. We can't do it. We can't do it at this price. What about 72? Our next offer. These guys just want 84. I don't think it'll be possible to sign him this season. Okay, let's go 75. My last offer for Milinkovic Savage. Nope. I guess we're gonna have to be happy with our squad for now because it was the only other solid rumor I saw linked with Arsenal. Not gonna lie, I only see Granit Xhaka letting us down in this team. The rest of it is actually pretty insane. Let's see how we fare this season. Remember guys, this rebuild only ends when we win the Champions League. Champions League and we have topped our group. I don't expect us to win it this season because I still feel like Granit Xhaka needs to be put on the bench. But anyways, round of 16, we're up against Ajax. Honestly guys, our team with the overalls we've got, we should be dispatching Ajax without a problem. Like, yeah, our team is much better and it's only a draw in the first leg. Not gonna lie, getting dumped by Ajax would be pretty painful, but let's see what happens in this second leg and we somehow get through Saka and Gabriel Jesus with the goals. Okay, our Champions League journey could be coming to an end soon because we've got Real Madrid. I seriously don't think we've got a squad to compete with Madrid as of now, especially with Paqueta now injured for this game. That's another curveball, but we end up beating Real Madrid. Gabriel Jesus Jesus is unreal. Bro, I can't believe with Granit Xhaka we're out here outclassing Real Madrid, but it still could go horribly wrong in the second leg. What just happened? We beat Real Madrid 5-1. Yo, yo. If these transfers happen in real life, at least according to FIFA, Mikel Arteta is some sort of a genius. What just happened in the second leg? Yo, our luck with the draw has not been good. Up next is Barcelona. Okay, here we go. This might be, I think, where we'll have to, you know, bow down down and get out of the Champions League. But you never know. Our team is actually pretty good if you look at the ratings, but it all depends on this first leg. We actually beat Barca. What is happening here? Second leg against Barca. We've got the advantage. Can we see this one out? Yes, we can. Yo, I should be making realistic signings more often in career mode because look at that. Couple of seasons with Arsenal. Not many insane transfers made. Just what they've done in real life and what they're going to probably do. And we're out here in a Champions League final. Guys, I feel like EA have made Atletico Madrid a bit too OP on FIFA. Like, they always seem to make the Champions 
League final, at least in the first few seasons. Well, once again, we just about finished fourth in the Premier League, but we're in a Champions League final, so who cares about the Premier League? I'm ready for this one. Look at the ratings. Granite Xhaka, to be honest, getting up to an 82. That's that's not bad at all. Gabriel Jesus, almost a 90. Odegaard and Saka, over 90. That's nuts. What are the stats looking like for our players this season? Gabriel Jesus, top scorer. What a man. 29 this season, 10 in the Champions League. All right, guys, it's Arsenal versus Atletico Madrid Champions League final. Let's complete the rebuild. All right, boys, let's win this Champions League final. Okay, Osaka and gets taken out like that. What even? Here we go, Martin Odegaard. First chance for us. Oh, Odegaard, 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 Odegaard. Oh, my God, what a goal. That dribble was insane. It was like, he's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot, and then ultimately at the end, he gets the shot off. It was class 1-0 up in the Champions League final. Okay, we've just given away a chance for Atletico Madrid, but Ramsdale, good save. Here we go, Bukayo Saka inside for Gabriel Jesus. Looking for Lucas Paqueta. Strikes nope. it well. Good save. All black. Okay, let's see what we can do here with Emil smith -Rowe. A few step up. <laughs> Why do I even try? Gabriel Jesus, go on. Be a fake shot inside. That's not really work, but we still have it. Paqueta, yeah. finesse shot. Forcing All Black to make another save. We're looking the much better team, to be honest. Oh, Gabriel Jesus has just walked through like that. Still, Gabriel Jesus tries a cheeky chip. Erdegaard. Well, he's just stolen that goal, but we'll take it. But Nerdegaard stealing Gabriel Jesus' chip and we make it 2-0. Guys, I need to see what happened there. Gabriel Jesus gets so near the keeper, goes for a cheeky chip. It works out well. The ball, was it going in? Was the ball going in? Maybe it would spin in. Yep, I think it would spin in, guys. Look at this. If you look at the trajectory here, it did look like the ball was going to spin towards the inside. But Erdegaard stole it. But how is Erdegaard not offside? Okay, let's see. This angle will let us know. Fine. Yep, Erdegaard was just about on. Fair enough. Oh, that's another good attempt from Atletico. They need to get back in this game quick. But that's well one saved by Ramsdale, who's having a really good game. Oh, Emil smith -Rowe with the nutmeg of dreams. And he made it work as well. I need to look at a replay of that before that. Gabriel Jesus with a chance. Nope. Strikes it well. Keeper saves. Guys, this might be one of my best ever nutmegs in FIFA. Look at this. Emil smith -Rowe. He knew where the defender was. Goes for a cheeky nutmeg. Oh, he got him. He got him dirty there. Let's go. This man. Chance for Felix. And well, Atletico get a goal back with just nine minutes to go. This is not good. Is that it? I think it is. We've just won the Champions League with Arsenal in a couple of seasons, making only realistic transfers. And that's that for this one, boys. Let me know in the comment section who you want me to see doing this with next. Maybe, maybe Real Madrid? I don't know. Maybe Chelsea? Let me know in the comments. But that's that for this one. Drop a like, subscribe, click here to watch more content, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.